Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Code. I missed you. No, I, I mean, I mean, I did. I, you know. <laughs> oh, this is awkward, you know. Um, we're, wait, Agashan, didn't I already explore that? Oh, that's right. I was exploring. I think I was on the same tile as, like, the six day stilt. And I haven't explored this, so I have to assume that's true. But I was on the right side of the left tile, and we can see that that is pretty true. And I'll wait through the night, and then wait 100 turns. It's a good way of just, like, getting rid of the nighttime. We're not exploring Dawn Glider tiles. And, yeah, I'm just going to continue this. We'll, we'll uh, enter highlight mode. Oh, 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 oh. What do we got here? Mathakai Salomon, chosen by Shekinah. Interesting. Um, yeah, we, that's why I like to have oil on hand. What's your reputation? Loved by Mechanimus, hated by Oozes, disliked by the villagers of Una, admired by the villagers of Shad. Well, I guess I'm uh, reprogrammed by the Mechanimus. That's really funny. I, I guess I'm going to be making enemies to villagers of Una because I, I ooze rep is too good. Um, legend, mech, mecha, uh, ooze rep. Okay, um, we'll be coming back here, but not as a friend. <laughs> Sorry. I... I need that ooze rep. Ooze rep, too good. It'd be really nice to go through uh, Bethesda Sousa for once without having to fight humors. Same for uh, asphalt mines. We've got some Dawn gliders here, but there is a, there, this seems, this is a ruin and I would like to explore it. Shouldn't be too bad so long as I'm careful. I, I guess not exploring the, the ruin would be the careful thing. Well, we got our ooze. We've got ourselves an amoeba. Nothing too interesting right now. Oh, we got some books. I gotta be careful because I know there's dong gliders here and I really just don't want to. I've got a statue that's usually a Reshef statue. Yeah, and it is a Reshef statue. We made a note of that, so we got a bit of Russia floor. What do we got here? Scourge of Tulip. Some more lore. I think I'm good for the, for that. I don't want to explore much more of that. You know, I think what I'd like to do actually is explore the underground for a little bit. Because if I find a Dawn Glider underground, they'll be far less um, dangerous. eat a meal real quick oh is there an enemy nearby kind of interesting that it tells me where they are cannot find a path oh there is a campfire do we have some free wine here we do I have nothing yeah I have nothing to collect that in so we'll explore the underground for a little bit not too long with oh, snap jaws Yeah, in fact, I, I might even already be done. Wow! Wow, that happens fast. I'm gonna lunge. Oh, I did not. I did not um, poison them. We're gonna witch would bark. Trying to get that sting. Dawn gliders really suck. They're better underground, though. And something just died. Woof. Kind of don't even want to know what that is down there. Um, this might have been a bad decision, so I'm going to leave. Apparently, I've already looked at this. So I'm, I'm on the wrong tile. Ah! Um, sprint away. 
Okay. Wait till morning. Oh, dong gliders. I tell you what. We have a legendary bark fighter. Hated by water barons, loved by bears. Bear rep is like, okay. Um, legend bear. Hated by barons. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there. Blink and you miss it. Where am I right now? I'm in the center. That... Sh I should be on the left and center. Honestly, I should be two over. I don't know what's happened here. I have very clearly gotten confused. Just gonna start from the beginning. Here's a really dumb and easy way of figuring out if you've already explored a tile. I've, I've kind of noticed this over time is I'm just going to like wait until it's nighttime and then like do a quick like zip down. And if you've explored a tile, you'll see that the tiles are revealed, right? Like I can see the rest of the desert right now. Um, Legend Mecca. Oh, yeah. Okay. But as soon as you haven't explored a tile, um, you'll see that parts of it are not revealed. Okay, so part of this was not revealed, and part of this was not revealed, so I've have, I have found my starting spot. Okay, level 10. We're getting there. Getting back to where we were, sort of. You discover Silver Inferior Namratum. Okay. Get some stuff. Ooh, slug snout. Yeah, slug snout. That's fine. We should be able to take out a slug snout. There we go. We got some pig meat. There might be another one of those hiding around. Whoa. Is that oil in there? Yes. We have nothing to, uh, shoot. Really? What do we have in our water containers right now? Oh yeah, cider. Oh, and this has asphalt? Why did, get this out of here. Collect liquid. I don't know why I had asphalt in um, a container. So now we can make friends with a couple robots. And I dropped my phone. Dromad. What do you have, Dromad? Got anything cool? Probably not. I would take your star apple, your vine wafer. I know that's strange. It's strange to me anyway. And I guess I'll take your copper nuggets. Um, we'll sell you my torches. Uh, apparently you want them for some reason. And go ahead and take all of that stuff. Perfect. Ah, uh, you know what? I should buy their slugs as well. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, now that we can actually start cooking, let's go ahead and preserve, choose ingredients, and we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way, star apple jam and vine wafer sheaf. Whenever you drink fresh water, none of that. None of that. You swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. Well, that... Thank God for that, because we need a star apple jam and vine wafer sheaf meal. Uh, whenever you drink fresh water, nope. Nope, none of that. You thirst at half rate though, I'll take that. Discover Namratum unilateral. We've got a, oh ho ho, we've got a Novice of the Sightless Way. The nice thing about that is they just use their stupid ability. So we can go and murder them. And they dropped a weird artifact. They have a, had a skull. I don't have any helmet yet, so I'll definitely take that. So 
Someone just threw a fungicide grenade at me. Oh no, that's a mine. I just stepped on a mine. Oof. Fighting two of these at once is kind of a bummer. Poison the both. You guys can both get wrecked. Take some books. Um, poison grenade. We are poisoned by gas. That could be bad. We're gonna go to... I, I just don't want to be in that little nook right now. And apparently I'm not poisoned anymore, which is nice. What was, um, throwing stuff at us? We have nothing to collect that in. That seems like a lie. I guess it was the Arcanaut who was just, like, throwing stuff at a, um, centipede. So, well, with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal... Well, that's great, because I need a star apple jam and vine wafer sheaf. Uh, none of those. None of those. You swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth. These are happening very quick, by the way. They're happening quick for you, but they're also happening pr fairly quick with uh, for me as well. Uh, whenever you drink fresh water. None of these. Stop it. Stop it with these, like, garbage recipes. You know what I want. Give it to me. Oh, and a, we have a bark biter. Is this the same one? I don't see a name on this one, so I don't think I I named this one. Loved by, Oh, I hate it by oozes. And it's only a legendary bear. I can actually take this one out. Hated by oozes. Let's, oh, but they're, they have bark biters nearby. That's actually kind of a bummer. Um, still, we can do this. I think. I think we can do this. Especially with our, like, sting lunge technique. I'm not even going to mark this in my journal. I'm just going to try my best to do this. Um, yeah, we're on bad terms with bears. And we're going to continue to be on bad terms with bears after this. Oh, this, this guy has, uh, long blade techniques. Yeah, he's in an aggressive stance. It's pretty funny. Just gonna shoot him a couple times while he comes over. I accidentally hit the other one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lunge them. Uh, they are poisoned. I'm gonna fire on them again and then try and sting them. And they are dead. That's some pretty good XP. And then we're just gonna fire on the other one. Lunge is not off cooldown yet. So just back up, reload, fire on them again, lunge. They're dead. Bark biter corpse. We can uh, chill for a bit and then uh, start firing on this guy. Wow, getting some really good hits in here. They have temporal fugue, not temporal fugue, sorry, um, temporal, temporal dilation, I guess. So we're gonna lunge at them. And sting them. They did some nasty damage. We should be okay. They're, they are poisoned. They're badly wounded. There we go. Despised by bears, but look at that reputation with oozes. Really nice. And we also get some honey. Um, honey is like a very mixed bag because it is valuable, but it's also extremely heavy. Nice little detail, honestly. Because um, like, you know, it's a very viscous material, so of course it's going to be heavy. Um, well, this is near our village, so... Have I been here before? I don't think I have. Oh, no! I didn't see them. Hated by Kragmensch. Hated by villagers of Maelish. Uh, I'm gonna run away. In the full sense of the word. Actually, I'm gonna come back real quick. Um, legend. Tort. 
Uh, hated by Crag. Might want to make friends with Craig Minch. I don't see why not. Okay, buddy. You're cruising for a, a newsin'. Haha. <laughs> okay, I, I just want to collect this. This, uh, yurt. Whatever it's called. Yuck. And then we wait for the night time. We're, well, we're making pretty good time here. Um, wait, 200. We're good. We're hungry. Is this another village? No, this is the same village. Oh. Literally was right in front of a dawn glider there. Didn't see it though. That's fine. We're okay. Kagalep. We've discovered Kagalep. There is a one of those cool doorways here. On a musket. Um could potentially repair this later if I wanted to. Uh which eh, I don't I don't think I do really. Ooh, legendary salt kraken. That's an interesting one. You c I can make friends with a salt kraken. They will be surrounded by worms. This seems like a good place to hang out. Maybe. <laughs> could be could be dicey. We're inspired. Let's go ahead and cook some more. Not the meal we need. Uh, there, there we go. There it is right there. And we'll go ahead and cook from a recipe and... Favorite this one. And that's good. We, we've got one of our several requirements for her Golgotha. Really wish I could get wings back. Did we level up? We've leveled up a few times and I haven't put any points in anything. So I'll put some points into multiple legs. Just to get it up to 100 move speed. Um, kind of wouldn't mind some points in Mental Mirror. It's really nice. Uh, but, 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 do I really want to do that? Why don't we take our mutation? Force bubble, burrowing claws, cryokinesis. Those are all mental mut- no, sorry, burrowing claws is not a mental mutation. What am I talking about? Um, burrowing claws are kind of only- I mean, they're, they're very good. But they also require you to actually use them. I mean, like, you can dig, but, you, you know, there's other ways of digging. They mean you don't have to worry about finding a um, spiral borer if you like to cheese things, which I do. Um, and they also make it so auto-exploring is kind of a pain in the butt. I don't think I want burrowing claws. Force bubble is really tempting. For, uh, you know, a, a nice escape. You may fire weapons through the force field. That's kind of nice. Force bubble would be really nice. Cryokinesis would be cool, except for the fact that I can never rely on it actually freezing things. It takes a bit of time to freeze things. So I feel like force bubble would be the most, like, readily useful one. Um, I might want to start putting points in the Ego for that specifically, but I don't know. I guess we have two mental mutations now, so it would technically be worth it. But I do want, um, you know, I do want my intelligence. I think it's like, what, what, what do I need? 25 to get all of the stuff I need. Uh, we need at least 21 for long blade. Uh, customs of we need 21 there. What's tinkering is really the one bottleneck. We need 29. 29 intelligence for tinker 3. Good lord, that is such a sink. So I really do have to kind of put a lot of points into intelligence if I want tinkering 3. That being said, we don't necessarily want tinkering 3, but like kind of want tinkering 3. I'm going to put a couple of points into my stinger. 
since it is our main method of attack. And I will put one point uh, into ego. And I it might be our only ego that I spent, uh, only point I spend on ego. It's nice to have, I like it a lot. I think we're good though. Mirthworms can be a pain in the butt. But, you know, I think we're built. They are swarmers though, so when you get them around you like this, it is a little bit of a, a pain. But I'm gonna be careful, he says, as he starts to die. But, you know, like, we have the movement speed to just, like, walk away, as I, as I say quite often. I think I'm gonna turn Butcher off. For the time being, I really don't want... Oh my god, look at all those Mirthworms. This will be good XP. Oh, we have an Ick Slug behind us. Is that, is, that, is that an Ick Slug? Worm of the Earth. I don't think I... Do I know what that is? Have I seen that before? Can these things poison us? The nice thing about shooting into an army like this is that no matter... Even if you miss, you still hit something. You still kill something and you get that sweet 35 XP. This will be a good training realm. Oh, what is that? Gershworm. Should be fine to kill a Gershworm. Easy. 350 XP is quite nice. For free. Oh, jeez. Why are is there a plasma gel here? That thing would absolutely destroy me. I am not playing around with a plasma jelly. Good God. Well, that's the end of that. I'm, there's no way I'm going back there, even if there's a chance of plasma jelly. Oh my God, look at all this. I need to come back when I have like a Gatling gun. I'll definitely kill a couple of you. I guess I could lure a couple of them over and like take them out one by one. Good God. I'm just roaming around, killing Gershlings. Actually, Mirthlings. Mirthworms? I don't know. Don't mind me just hanging out at the like very edge of my uh, sustainable health bar. Just mashing the attack nearest without any cause or sense of self-preservation. Or inspired. We are level 12. It, it feels pretty good. Lunge. I guess this would have been a good a good time to take swipe. We do have lots of skill points. I should take some more um, long blade stuff. And I could take dueling stance. I don't know if we want during dueling stance right away though. I would I, I do want single weapon fighting so we'll take single weapon fighting that'll be good it'll be better when we have a shield but for now it'll be good I guess I'll come back here I, I, I tell a lie I'll just keep it you know keep it real cool and try to not pick fights single weapon fighting is on oh that's interesting it has to be t like um, it has to be toggled. Where is dueling stance? Oh, I didn't take it, right. But I did take swipe. Oh, cool. And defend that's the one that knocks everything back. So we can do this. Whee! Just killing all the mirthworms. And like I say, I'll be really careful. I don't think I want to go into any like tight quarters because if I turn a corner and there's a freaking plasma jelly, 
Woo, uh, that's the run over. We are famished, can't do it. Let's cook down here. I suppose I could turn on butcher for the time being. Shift tab. Oh no, control tab. Butcher corpse. And doesn't seem to be anywhere to explore. I I'm I'm I want to butcher though. That's weird. Why is that not working? Why is that not working? Can I not butcher mirthworm into worm meat? Strange. Oh, I didn't mean to auto explore. That was so goofy. We have a Olstrom? Capola. Yeah, we do not want to fight a Capola at this level. Good lord, this layer. I mean, I know it's a really high tier layer. Um, still, I feel like it's still very dangerous. Kind of lucky by the fact that it's mostly, mostly mirthworms. But all the same, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm getting that antsy feeling like if I pursue this, I will potentially die. Well, there's a Kraken. We're on good terms with that crap. Uh... Where did they go? Oh, they're, they're, uh, this, the Kraken got eaten by another Kraken. Loved by grazing hedonists, mollusk, hated by Uthrit Petarian flock. Uh, disliked by Dromad merchants. That kind of sucks. Hmm. That kind of really sucks. Oh, I guess it's only disliked. The problem though is that uh, they have a lot of their friends nearby and I would have to like try and kill them. Uh, let's just make sure we're not actually attacking the legendary Kraken here. The uh, legendary Kraken might have pieced. Uh, the, I am I am very afraid right now. Can y'all stop? They they left. Hey buddy. Idly undulating. Um, they would make me friends with. How come they don't have any worm rep? They give me mollusk rep though. That's kind of worth it. Mollusks increased by 100. Only 100? So I'm despised by a cult that already hated me. I have slightly less uh, re rep with romads, which kind of sucks, but I can deal with it. This um this is kind of a bummer, I have to say. I was kinda of hoping. For better reputation with Assault Kraken. But it's fine. We we did it. I, I I'm alive, you know, that's a that's a win in my book. And we're just about done the episode. I don't know. I've gotten confused as to what tile I'm on. So I'm just going to carry on like this. It's the Curry Rifler. Ah, here we go. Well, hold on. Let me just um, make sure I'm on the right tile. So where am I? I'm on... Currently, I'm on the current location south. So uh, the south and then left of this tile is what I'm currently exploring. But we're going to check out this legendary Isakari. Because I think that this will be good. Hopefully. Let's, uh, let's find out. And this will be the last thing I do. Can we dispense with the ivory? Ow. Ow. 
I guess there used to be an uh, Isakari here and they got killed by a vine spitter of all things. Uh, we do have a... Oh. I won't lie, you guys kind of scared me there. I'm just gonna let them kind of fight these ivories. Or not ivories, uh, jilted lovers. But the Isakari really do suck at combat, don't they? There's a lot of plants here. A lot of plants. Why are there so many plants? Hello, friend. Potentially. Disliked by the Merchant's Guild? Why? Ah! Uh, do I, can I afford to lose some Merchant Rep? I can. It would suck, but I would rather do this. I'm, I'm gonna get some valuable Isakari rep, and then hopefully that means I can, um, you know, kill some Isakari later that happen to uh, have powerful enemies. Oh God, what what a uh, drag sometimes all right so we're gonna be let's finish i, I, I knew i i know i said that it was gonna be the end but i kind of want to just like finish this lane it makes for a good amount of you know the perfect amount of content basically in my mind oh wow legendary me mechanimus what where oh this is a layer to a legendary mechanimus okay well, this will be potentially worthwhile. These guys suck right now. Why are there Naphtali at this? Like, are these also Mechanimus? No, they're just Naphtali. There's, there's nothing... There's no trick about it. Why Why is a Mechanimist have uh, Naphtali hanging out? What is that up there? That looks like a Pewtis Templar. And what is that? An armor. Okay, interesting. Oh, you identify the small... I, I got a free salve injector. Uh, we have crabs. No biggie. Aha! We got our first lover's blossom. Nice. Where is our... Oh, spiked steel gauntlets. Love, love me a spiked steel gauntlet. We continue down. We're still trying to find a mechanimist. What is up with the Naphtali? Oh, we've got... Spicy snap jaws. Um, we've got spicy snap jaws. Is that a farmer? What is going on at this lair? This is a very strange one. Ow. Um, let's do a sting and a swipe. Are we still stuck? We are still stuck. Let's take a salve. Do we not have a salve? Okay, I thought I had a salve. Okay, we have witchwood bark though. Why do we have look? Why does Luminous Horse Room count as a, as a tonic? We are inspired. I'm not sure what I should do about that just yet. What is up with this layer? It just kind of keeps going. We really need some more armor. I only have four AV right now. Do I, like, is my stuff cracked? Like, what's, what is up? No, I just don't have a lot of ar armor. 
I'm taking on some very spicy things. So here you are. Uh, disliked uh, by cats, urchins, hated by the order of the briny ghost of Aliper Castle. But loved by Mechanimus. So we get a little bit more disliked by cats. I'm cool with that. Another cult dislikes us. That's fine. Mechanimus rep is very valuable. Mostly for trading. Uh, IMO. I, it's like the best, one of the best reputations to uh, trade with because it's so common. Um, and so it's it's very useful for making friends and enemies. All right, let's wait and we continue down. Down, down, down. Deep beneath the sea. Uh, well, that was a statue. Let's just check it out. Wasn't anything worthwhile. You're famished. We should cook a meal. What do we got? We got a cycle. Well, we shouldn't do that when we're inspired. Uh, let's do like a spine fruit jam. And um, what do we have that would make us heal? I don't think we have anything. I guess we, have, we would, like, hopefully we would have We do have a lot of artifacts. We should check these out. Great Gate Recoiler. Flaming Bronze short, uh, Longsword. Defoliant Grenade. Freezing Steel Warhammer. Electrified Steel Longsword. High Explosive Grenade. That's a good one. Freeze Grenade. That's another good one. I broke it. Shoot. Oh! Sniper Rifle! Yes! Excellent. Um, we'll have to- we'll come back to that broken artifact later. The reason I did that is because I wanted to see if I had a salve, but, um, like, maybe I- I don't know why I, I like, managed to decipher that. That's such a weird one. Uh, we could do soul curd, but I'm not a huge fan of that. It's really hard to come by. I guess we could do spine fruit jam and mirror dust because this is a recipe I plan on using again in the future. Uh, whenever you take damage, there's an eight to cent, ten percent chance you reflect a hundred percent damage. The next uh, three times you take damage, whenever you reflect damage, nope. When it reflects fifteen to eighteen percent damage back at your attackers, rounded up. Can use quills. Not a fan of that. Uh so I guess that top one. It's not great. I, I, I gotta say, none of those were really amazing. All right, we're done. Um, we can start going back up. Southwest. So we'll start on southeast and then go back up in exactly the same way. Do we have any... We do have some skill points to spend, but I kind of want to keep them for, for other things. But anyway, that's going to be the end, of the end of the episode. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.